Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I want to uh, talk a little bit about FINRA uh, and its structure. FINRA is defined as a self-regulatory organization. Is that correct? Yes. Um, does FINRA operate with a mandate from the federal government? Fit FINRA is a, as, as you point out, a self-regulatory organization that is a membership organization, but it's certainly an organization that uh, is primarily responsible for the surveillance uh, and regulation of broker-dealers. Does it use tools that are similar to or typical of those of an independent government regulatory agency? On its, certainly on its, its exam and enforcement side, uh, I mean, they have tools we don't have, frankly, because it's a membership organization, too. There are things they can do that we can't do under our own authorities, but they certainly use surveillance tools, they use enforcement, they use exams, and, which are similar. Um, and they make rules uh, that will govern the conduct of their members? Uh, they, they certainly make rules. There's, uh, many of them are subject uh, you know, to SEC approval, but yes. Are there any other private organizations that are similarly structured uh, and oriented within the securities law space? Uh, not at the present time. What sort of input, to your knowledge, do FINRA members have into FINRA's regulatory policy agenda? Uh, I don't know this, the specifics of that. Obviously, they have a board structure, um, and they obviously are a membership uh, organization. What authority does the SEC have over the FINRA board? Uh, we, we certainly oversee um, FINRA. We inspect FINRA. Uh, our exam staff does uh, on various issues, their pro, you know, some of their programs. Obviously, we have some authority over their rules as well, some of their rules. Do you have the power to appoint board members? No. To remove board members? No. Uh, is FINRA, so it exercises investigative, investigative and prosecutorial functions related to SEC rules, federal security laws, and its own rules? Uh, yes, generally speaking, yes. There's some exceptions to that, but yes. Are those functions executive power, in your opinion? You know, I mean, the, they're not a, you know, I mean, and obviously I know this is, a, you know, an issue that people talk about all the time, but I mean, they're not a government, you know, entity. But I'm, you know, I'm not, the answers I gave are accurate, I believe, in terms of their powers. To your knowledge, does FINRA employ paid lobbyists? I don't know. Okay. Thank you. I'd like to turn to uh, a separate topic, shareholder activism, as it's sometimes called. Um, on a number of occasions, you've commented uh, on the role that economically motivated investors play in the capital markets. In a speech last year in New Orleans, uh, you noted that, quote, an intense debate is taking place in the business, legal, and academic communities as to whether activism by hedge funds and others is a positive or negative force for U.S. companies and the economy. In that speech, you also said that the SEC's role in any given contest between shareholders and boards of public companies, quote, is not to determine whether activist campaigns are beneficial or detrimental, but rather to ensure that shareholders are provided with the information they need and that all play by the rules. So putting aside the question of any particular dispute, any particular company, any particular investor, do you believe that on balance, uh, engaged shareholders provide critical mar market-driven checks and balances to provide greater corporate productivity and management accountability? That, that's a very broad question. I certainly think they can. Okay. Um, you've also spoken favorably in the past about the role of cost-benefit analysis at the Commission. Um, given your views on the importance of a data-driven approach to developing public policy, um, are you concerned about some appeals to a motion that we see uh, from some involved in the debate about so-called activist investing, which is sometimes also portrayed as short-term investing? Well, I mean, I, th I think, um, you know, the SEC is an independent agency uh, and has always been. I think I'm an independent head of that agency. Um, and so I think it's very important for us to keep our eye on the ball and make decisions based on the merits, which I think we do. So uh, in... in this space, uh, you're committed to developing rigorous uh, econometric, econometric data on the marketplace impact of potential disclosure rules changes or any other limitations on marketplace participants before so, so, rule changes would be proposed and adopted? Cer certainly any of our rules are subject to uh, that analysis, that economic analysis. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank you for your appearance today.